Welcome to P My RDI Junior with your host, Juan Chomps. Okay, I have to admit it, I failed with that intro. But the reason why I'm doing this video series is because I wanted to show you uh, how much wastewater and how much our water I'm getting uh, from my uh, basic standard unit. So then on the fourth video, I will show you the end results. Uh, everything is going to be installed and I will be, I will be making another comparison on how much our water I'm getting and how much uh, wastewater I'm getting. I wanted to do everything in one video but uh, it's gonna be too long and the other thing is that if you're interested only in one subject you're gonna be able to just go through that video and not go over the entire video. So as you see the second video is gonna be about the membrane installation the which is another 75 gallons per day membrane with a total making a total of 150 gallons per day uh, unit and the third video is going to be about the booster pump the installation why you will need it and and which way we're going to install it okay so the fourth video is going to be about uh, the float switch installation as well as the auto shut up valve and the end results of the test hey guys how you doing today this is one chums right here and today what you see here is my wannabe uh, RODI station and salt water mix. Okay, I'm gonna start by saying and um, the reasons why I'm doing this. Well, uh, the main reason for this is because I was uh, buying um, RO water from my local fish store, but. Um, Every time I go to that local fish store, and that's the closest one, unfortunately, is that all their tanks always has a disease. They always have a disease. Either cyanobacteria, either green algae, either uh, bubble algae, all types of, even green algae, all type of, of, of disease. Um, so I decided to ask the guy that works over there, and I asked him, hey man, do you have a reef tank at home? And he said, yes. Then I asked him, do you use our water? And he replied and said, of course. The other question I, I asked him it was, do you use our water from this uh, store? And he said, no, I use my own. So that's the reason why I decided to stop by, I mean, start using my, my own stuff, start mixing my own salt water here at home and start using my own our water. Uh, am I gonna? Am I, am I spending a little bit more money at the beginning? But in the long run, it's gonna give me a little bit more of uh, you know money from the buck. So what I did, I went to bulk resupply and and bought myself the 75 gallon uh, per day uh, five stage uh, with chloramines a unit. Uh, so I came home and installed it, and I realized that uh, the pressure on my oh, by the way, I would like to explain you uh, about the this unit. This unit comes with. Uh, I'm gonna remove the camera here from the tripod, and I'm gonna show you what I got here on the on the unit itself. Let me. So hopefully you can see here. I got the. The membrane flush kit. It also comes with the. Let me see if we can see it from this side. Yep, uh, that's the auto shut off valve. If you want to use a flow switch, which is uh, something that I didn't. Uh, I I was not planning on buying, but uh, I I bought it now, and that's what I'm planning to install today. Okay, it also ha comes with a flush kit for the for the carbon. Which is good because it will flush the carbon and clean it, especially when it's brand new. Same thing for the for the flush kit for the membrane, which uh, in the long run it will also save you money because this uh, the membrane will work more properly. Okay, the shot above that also comes with this, uh, which is the plus uh, five stage uh, plus, um, comes with the with the shot off as well. Okay. 
So all of that comes with the with the with this unit. So as I said, uh, it also comes with a dual TDS meter, as well as the pressure gauge as you see over there. Okay. So I mean, definitely a, a way way a, I mean good unit to to start with, saving you money in the long run. Okay. So I will really, really highly recommend you this. So uh, back to business. I installed the the unit and realized that I was not having more than 40 PSI running through the system so uh, a unit in order to properly properly work you need to have at least uh, 55 65 uh, PSI running through the system so I couldn't uh, I didn't I did not have that uh, pressure running through my system so what I did and that's what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna do an example of the before and the after how much wastewater I'm having for for only one uh, sh a glass shot of of uh, purified water so as I said I went to uh, bulk resupply and decided to upgrade for the with a booster pump and also I uh, wanted to buy the 150 upgrade upgrade kit okay it's not 150 gallons per day membrane it's only another 75 gallons per day membrane which is going to be added to to the existing 75 so 75 plus 75 will make 150 okay so since i was doing all this expense i i decided to uh, purchase the flow valve <clears throat> and these uh, two brute uh, trash cans uh one of the, one of them with the with the casters and then the other one without it because i didn't have enough money to buy both of them so uh one of them uh, i believe this is going to be this one right here i'm going to make a hole and that's where the flow bulb is going to be okay i will be using these two type of, of of salt, uh, Tropic Marine is a fantastic uh, salt, one of the best in the market, and that's what I was using. And I'm not saying that I'm gonna change it. I'm just uh, once in a while it's good that you change your salt water. Uh, maybe the salt water that you are always using does not have the trace element that can come with another salt. So I will be, you know, going back and forward uh, with these two uh, type of salts that we have here. Uh, maybe one bucket when I run out of that bucket I will give truck I will use tropic marine and so on tropic marine and red sea tropic marine red sea okay so without being said uh, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna make a, a test uh, the way the system is running now with the regular fittings I mean with the 75 gallon uh, per day uh, membrane Without running the booster pump, uh, I will go through the installation of everything uh, and after we, we do the installation of everything, make sure everything works, then we're going to do another example and we're going to see if, uh, you know, really the booster pump and the 150 gallons per day uh, upgrade really works. That's the reason why I got the, the tequila shots uh, <clears throat> glasses here. Uh, unfortunately, this time we're not gonna fill them off tequila. This gonna, they're gonna be filled out of wastewater and good water. Okay, so let's just start uh, working and let's just start doing the example. I'm gonna start by uh, checking how much wastewater we're getting out of the the regular system and then with the upgrade. Okay, so let's just start doing it. I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod, uh, turn on the the spike here and then start doing it. Already guys, so I guess we're ready for the test. Uh, I have some water coming right off the uh, good water which is the blue pipe, blue tube and the black tube is the the bad water or the unpurified water, okay? I just wanted to show you uh, the PSI that we have here uh, we have not even the 30, th not even, we are not even in the 30s, okay, like 28, 29. Uh, the TDS, I'm going to turn it on. Uh, in, coming into the cartridge, we have, okay, 10. 
total dissolve that's what is uh, uh, stand TDS total dissolve uh, something else I can remember and in the out we have zero okay so I guess it's good time to start uh, doing the the test here I'm gonna put the camera in the chair iPod and start uh, start testing okay just give me one minute let me secure this thing okay so the right hand right they all are empty we're gonna have one We have one, two, We have an exactly four to one. Yeah, four to one. It's just uh, four. Yeah, four to one. I guess that's fair. Okay. So I just wanted to make a, a you know comparison before uh, I do the upgrade and the pump and everything. See how much water uh, I'm wasting or saving. Uh, as you see, uh, I mean, I'm we are what we're doing is that we are uh, trying to think that one shot, uh, one glass shot is one gallon of water uh, of bad water, water for one gallon of good water here. So I mean, in the long run, think about it. If we're gonna uh, make uh, 40 gallons uh, a day I mean or fill the the, the 40 gallons uh, trash cans in order for me to get one uh, 40 gallon trash can uh, completely full I have to waste 120 gallons of water okay so I would like to reduce that by using the 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 pump and the 150 gallons per day upgrade uh, which is another 75 membrane okay so let's just start by installing the membrane first and then we move forward if you wanna watch the 150 gallons per day membrane upgrade installation just click anywhere in the screen and it will take you to the second video there through the first membrane 